Hey guys, my name is Jaden. I'm 16 years old. I've been doing resistance training for a 1.5 year so far, and I've stopped training five days a week to only training each muscle group once a week. Now you might be thinking to yourself, bro, what are you doing? You might be thinking that I'm stupid and my brain is smooth. However, you couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, actually, it might be the complete opposite. See, the gold standard is you train six days a week, a push pulls leg split, training each muscle group twice a week. There are a few problems with this split. But first, let's go over the pros. It allows you to be extremely consistent with the gym. It allows you to hit multiple muscle groups multiple times per week. And it's pretty effective for hypertrophy or strength or whatever your goals are. The only cons are, it's very recovery demanding. You are training a muscle group twice a week. That is a lot of stimulus. And that means you gotta be recovering very quickly. This lack of recovery may also actually impact your other days. For example, if you push your, yourself too hard on your push day, the next day might be your pull day and you might perform worse. Even though the direct muscles aren't, well, fatigued, your central nervous system might be overloaded and fatigued from pushing yourself too hard on push days. So your pull days will struggle in performance. You are training six times a week. That is very time consuming. If you're spending an hour each day, six days a week, you're training six hours a day. That is a lot for your body and also your time. You might not have time for it and you might end up skipping days. And the last con is that you can't train as hard. Intensity is very important. However, in a split like this, you got to actually tone down your intensity. Your intensity can't be too high or else, well, you might fatigue yourself for the rest of the week. So you can't train it as intensely, it takes up way too much time and it's way too, and it's super recovery demanding. Both were an issue to me at this time, especially during four months ago where I was actually entering back school from some no, break. No! I knew that number one, my body couldn't handle the number of stimuluses by training six days a week. Number two, I didn't have time. I have school that takes up seven hours of my entire day. And training six days a week is very time consuming. Plus at that time, this is the time where I actually came across a very interesting YouTube channel talking about the Mike Mentor training staff, which is training like once or twice a week, but with extreme intensity. Sparked the idea of intensity-based training. Throughout the summer, throughout my entire journey, I've been training with a volume-based training staff. So before moving on to why I actually chose this training style, Let's talk about the pros and cons. The pros of this new training style are, it takes way less time. You're only training one to three times a week. You can recover so much better and you can train very intensely on those sets. You don't have to worry about, well, over fatiguing yourself or over training. The cons are, you're only going one or three times a day, which if you're a beginner and you're not that consistent, you probably skip days. Under con is that you have to train very intensely. This is a pro and a con because pro for gym lovers, you can train as intensely as you want. You don't have to worry about anything. This can also be a con because if you don't like the gym, you're not in love with it, and you don't train as intensely, you won't see the results that you want to see. And maybe your training sessions will take a bit longer than usual. So why did I change? Why did I change my training style from six days a week to only two to three days a week? Well, it's very simple. I didn't have time and I wanted to train more intensely. The main factor was school. With less time to actually go to the gym, I needed a way to still go, to still make progress. I didn't want to stagnate. I didn't want to plateau. So I discovered this method of, well, spending less time, but still seeing very similar results. On top of that, recovery was better. Overtraining was a problem for me. So by switching to this training style, I was able to reduce volume while increasing intensity, receiving very similar results while prioritizing recovery and making sure I'm at my 100% capability for each training session. So yep, that's why I've changed from six days a week to only two to three days a week. So in conclusion, I want to tell you which style of training would suit you best. Remember, six days a week is no better than two to three days a week. It's just personal preference, your goals, etc., like this. But overall, there are two main types of people that go to the gym, people who are very serious, want to see the best results, want to become extremely strong and buff, or people who just go because they want to stay in shape. Both of these training styles can be applied. However, one of these training styles better suits one person than the other. For example, if you are a very serious gym goer, I'd actually recommend you invest in only training three days a week. Why? Because most likely you're going to be training very intensely. 
you want to maximize recovery, and you want to maximize your gains. Well, this few times a week actually have some benefits, including your recovery gains, how tense you can go, and also you're very consistent already. So you don't have to worry about well, skipping a day by accident because if only train three days a week, if you skip one day by accident, it can ruin your entire progress. <laughs> However, if you're more of a beginner, or let's say you just want to go to the gym to be healthy, I'd actually recommend you train more times a week. Why? This helps with consistency. If you're new to the gym, you're not very consistent, you're trying to build a habit. So going more often will build the habit. And if you're just there to be healthy, chances are you won't be training as intensely. You won't be, well, doing other forms of exercise outside the gym and you won't be training as long. So training more times a week, you don't have to worry about recovery because you're not training that intensely. You can be very consistent and you can stay in shape. However, if you're an intense lifter, you can obviously still train six days a week. If you're a beginner, you can obviously still train three days to two days a week. It depends on personal preference. But honestly, this is where I'd say. So this is my opinion. And that's the conclusion of this video. So that's why I've switched to six days to two days a week. A combination of having less time and recovery demands on my body forced me to switch. And I'm glad I did. Throughout this time, I've seen tremendous gains. Like you've seen on the thumbnail, I went from a 25 pound weight pull up to a 65 pound weight pull up for four reps. Nothing too substantial, but if you want to learn more about my weighted calisthenics progress, click the video right there. If you want to learn about my day in the life, what I do every single day to stay productive and stuff like that, click the video right there. Please subscribe. One of my New Year's resolutions is try to hit 1,000 subscribers in 2024. If I don't hit it, I will destroy this channel.